<laughs> wow, wow, things like drifting, that's pretty cool. What's up everybody? Welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. In this episode here, we'll be looking at a brand new product by Roboblock called Q Scout. This here is a alloy kit allowing you to go ahead and build a vehicle that you can go ahead and program it through a STEM education app that is directly linked to your phone. Now, we previously reviewed a product by Roboblock, which is actually the Coopers, which is a six in one modular kit, allowing to go ahead and customize and create a variety of different vehicles, such as this one here. Now, I really particularly like the quality of the materials as well as how it kind of has a very nice solid finish. So seeing exactly how the QScout performs should be quite interesting. Now, if you guys wanted your very own, be sure to check out their link down below in the description. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what it's all about. All right, so this here is our box and you can actually see the robot here on the front as we kind of rotate it about, shows that there's an app application. And then on the back here, it kind of shows how it all kind of forms together. Uh, this will go ahead and open up. Cool. So on the box here, you do showcase the Q Scout here on the top. Uh, you have some ads, uh, quick start guide, uh, and then so you have ourselves a Roboblock poster. And then this here's our kit. So this here is everything that it comes with. Uh, so we have our ultrasonic sensor. Uh, we have our main board over here as well as our line reader. And then these here are some wheels. So you have like that nice sponginess. And then you have our two mortars over here. We do also get a screwdriver as well as a little wrench. Uh, we got some cables, some electric tape, uh, cable to connect it via to the computer. And yeah, so looks like it's pretty fun stuff. Now it does work off double A's. Uh, so it uses one, two, three, four, five, six double A's. So just keep that in mind. And yeah, that is pretty much everything that is here. Uh, I have to say that the material again, that is a solid material. I like that. And you got that nice metallic green finish. Definitely a very like eye candy piece. And with that being said, let's go ahead and cube that montage and build ourselves a Q-Scout. All right, so our robot is finally complete and it took about 15 to 20 minutes to build. Uh, it overall was not that difficult at all. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and take our battery pack and just slide that right in, just like this. There we go, and it'll clip in. And then you have this DC in, just by plugging that in just like that. You have some LEDs blinking, uh, making a buzzer sound. And uh, yeah, so we're ready to rock and roll. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into my app and click on uh, Q Scout. So we're gonna connect to it via Bluetooth. So we're currently searching for it as this uh, connection is successful and it's being installed. And now we can go ahead and drive our Q Scout. So I can smooth it slightly forward. And I'll go forward, I can hit back. I can turn right. <laughs> I can turn left. And then I can push it on an angle like this. <laughs> wow, wow, things like drifting, that's pretty cool. So you get the full directional in terms of uh, front, back, left, and right. Uh, and then you have a horn, or like a buzzer sound. And then you have the lights, you can go and turn on the lights, turn off the lights. And that's just mainly the uh, front indicator right over there. So you can see that right there. So like highlight green. And then you have this explanation point, which turns everything red on the top. That's cool. Now we have our remote control mode. Uh, we have an obstacle avoidance. So this will go ahead and avoid any obstacles. So let's go ahead and turn it on simply by putting something in front of it. The robot will stop its direction and move the opposite. So if I hit start, like that, and like vice versa, you can see that it's moving quite well. <laughs> Obviously, uh, 
it makes more sense when you actually have obstacles around it. But you see that it does work. Now you also have music, so you can go ahead and play music with it. So you have the Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. Uh, you can do Merry Christmas. <laughs> All right, so it makes sense. Then you also have line tracking mode. So this will go ahead and track a line. So it uses the line tracing sensor on the bottom here. And we'll go ahead and follow that line and whichever direction you want it to go in. You can go back and you can click on um, my application. Now my application allows us to go ahead and create our own very custom programs. And then from there, I can go ahead and click on a primary programming or intermediate programming. Uh, if I click on primary here, I can go ahead and name my application, click it. And then there you have the start to finish. So we can go ahead and have the robot move forward uh, at like a speed of two or whatever. And you can go ahead and turn on a light, uh, make it move in a direction of the left. And then we can go ahead and have it uh, repeat itself or whatever. And if I hit play, it'll go ahead and perform that task. So literally just like that. So it was pretty quick, but you can see how fast it goes. Forward, tr uh, light, and turn. So pretty cool stuff. So you can create your own applications of that nature. And then uh, obviously you can go into more of an intermediate. Uh, you have recommended, so you can go ahead and click and download these different ones. So this here's dancing. Uh, if I hit play, the robot will start doing this application, so it'll start dancing on its own. So kind of gives an idea what that whole aspect goes. So you do have the full capability of programming the robo block. So it's very nice. And of course you can always go ahead and expand on it, use the other features and stuff of that nature. So yeah, there you guys have it. This year's Q Scout, a very great starter robot for anybody who's trying to get into robotics and wants to learn more about robots. Uh, you can always go ahead and expand on this and kind of create your own custom robot as well as your own custom applications. Now, if you had any questions about the Q Scout, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.